Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone, I'm Mohid Ali and today we will discuss the BUQ calculation of drip irrigation system. Now, first we will calculate the pump discharge and the pump discharge we already calculated it is here 11.4 GPM in last hour uh, vlog. Today we will check that what will be our pressure drop. So here is our list command going for the very farthest point that is 190 feet and the next we will check our 2 inch line so that is uh, there is length 201 okay so here we go uh, now we check our head loss okay so 16 mm pipe I'm putting 190 and then 2 inch line I am putting 200 feet so in nozzle pressure that is required that is 1 bar so let's say 15 psi it's not 15 it's less than that but for safety I am going for upper one so the dripper discharge is 0 0.008 and uh, how many drippers we have uh, that we have already calculated let's be checked that is 11.4 gpm the total discharge so i will put here 11.4 so okay we will need about one uh, 0.18 horsepower but we should go and check the market first for 11.4 gallons per minute and 42 head uh, 42 feet head it is only in that case if you have suction and or elevation depth is zero if you are withdrawing water from under bow, then you have to put the water table depth. Let's suppose I am in Lahore, uh, where the agriculture areas, so there the water table is about 50 feet. So I will fit, I put there at 50 feet, and you can see that the horsepower in your system will go up. So you have to check that what is the depth of the water table. Okay, now we will go for our BQ calculation. So we have already calculated the 2 inch pipe. So I will go for C class because the pressure is there is no pressure. So 200 feet is required, but for safety, I will put another 20 feet and uh, then I will go to I need one end cap up to inch tire. Uh, it is for this end, right and the rest is straight i will need here a t for pressure release wall and a couple of elbows so two inch dia t elbows okay elbow two inch dia elbow it is here so that i need two and uh, t's i will need plenty of two inch dia one number right okay uh, the rest is fine we don't need anything okay we will need uh, a male or female adapter and the uh, pump delivery also the that pump we will install will be having a uh, one inch dia one inch dia pipe will be coming up and then it will be going and we will then enlarge it to two so we have to push two a double reducer two by 1.5 one reducer here and one reduces here so in this way we will enlarge the one inch dia to convert one inch dia to two inch dia okay now pressure do you need ball wall okay we will put one and uh, we will need male adapter uh, of one inch dia for pumping unit okay now specialized items so we will need some gto bush yes we need gto bush this coupling here that the connection from 2 inch to drip line that will be done with the GTO bush so let me show you GTO bush it is uh, it is look like this but it's not like this uh, yeah here this is uh, GTO and uh, bush rubber bush where is rubber bush rubber bush is not given so so there will be a rubber a rubber hair that is that acts as a ceiling 
and uh, that is a very simple thing and it's cost it will cost you only 15 rupees so 19 were required so i will uh, so i will go for a one pack one pack is about 100 numbers so then uh, yes i will need richard clamps so i will put 100 as a packing and uh, except that i will need uh, walls this type of wall 16 mm 16 mm walls if i want to okay i will i will put it here no worry pe wall 16 mm dia right okay numbers i will need 20 19 are required so keep it one extra this is 50 rupees each if you go for a very better one than 150 150 you go for a very better one otherwise 50 rupees it's a simple thing okay straight adapter you need in case if you are joining two drip, drip lines together then you will you will need some hair let's suppose you have a 100 feet length and a 90 feet length and you want to join it so these straight adapters not straight adapter joiners we call them joiners that will be required and uh, this type of joiner is also good you don't need ratchet clamp but th these are the locks you just locked it there so joiner you will need so i don't have a joiner in my bq so i will put here a joiner 16 mm this is pe or plastic is both are okay no problem so okay 20 we will purchase this about 20 rupees each and uh, we will need end rank this thing so that we can end cap over these line these line and these line so how many i have in this all area so 19 or there and 18 in one line so these are 19 so let me calculate end ring so i will go for end ring 16 mm numbers and uh, I will need uh, 19 multiply by 18 plus 19 so 361 I will need you can see that each each tree have a ring so that it will be also end capped here and uh, so there are there are 18 trees in in a column and we have 19 rows 19 columns and 18 rows sorry so and then we have each uh, end cap here at this end right so these are 19 so that's why I multiplied 19 by 18 and then plus 19 so these are 361 okay okay that's done that's done that's done now you will need drippers okay you should go for a built-in uh, drip line or you should purchase drippers so i will recommend that you should purchase uh, two lph separate drippers right so there are how many trees we just calculated 19 by 18 these are our trees multiply by, by we will uh, give four drippers to each tree so that means 1368 okay and ring will cost you 20 rupees and uh, dripper is about uh, 6 rupees but let's suppose 10 rupees okay anything else that we are forgetting okay this technology is also available now nowadays so you just hook a bottle there and there will be a stopper and you can then the drip drip can be started like this right you can see now so if there if you have only one drip, plant this is the built-in drip line there are built-in uh, built-in drippers in it and they trickle the water to the plant uh, while this one is uh, online drippers and that you have to attach separately like this right so and this is built-in drip line right so you have to go and purchase some rolls so the main thing is uh, built-in drip line i'm going for one mm thickness 
500 meter roll is there so uh, how much length is required so I will I'm going to I have 19 uh, um, columns and each column is 190 feet and I will keep a hundred foot extra so 3710 so I will need 44,000 rupees of drip line if if you go for a wall thickness of 0 0.8 or 0 0.9 mm thickness then that will be much lesser that may, may go to 9 rupees so you should you should check it you should go let's let's suppose I'm going for 0 0.9 mm right we, we have to cut cut down our, our cost nine rupees and and one thing more that all these costing included uh, taxes uh, okay <clears throat> do you need pressure release wall yes I need it and uh, uh, blade do you need yes I will keep one plus repairs do you need uh, okay uh, I will need it just five bags five kg and uh, teflon tape required or not mm, two rolls are enough uh, rubber uh, rubber pipe not required trenching that is already calculated by you that is the sum of all my pipes multiply by one in one feet width multiply by dead feet uh, 1.5 feet depth so if that is uh, not a heavy uh, cultivated area where you are going for tillage uh, deep tillage practices if you are going for deep tillage practices then you have to take it more down or you have to replace that pipe by polyethylene pipe PE pipe right that that UPVC not work uh, on surface so then you have to go to PE pipe and PE pipe you will put that on uh, surface and from surface you have to take the uh, connections uh, how mm, I will show you that in on internet if my internet is working yes it is working okay just a second so there we go drip irrigation system and these are the images and uh, where is man and there it is right now you can see that there is a PE pipe 2 inch tire and they have connected taken a connection from it and there is a wall on it right so this pipe you can uh, the, with this pipe PE pipe you can go on surface and you can roll it back when work is done so our BUQ is almost done completed and uh, what what are our costings let me check that everything all formulas are proper and working yes everything is proper okay so 96,000 is the total cost of the uh, our uh, uh, material uh, I put 5% contingency uh, that become 100 and labor and uh, design charges that depends upon you labor charges uh, they, they, uh, their job is almost uh, will take almost 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 three days okay so um, three days multiply by two labor multiply by two thousand rupees each so twelve thousand rupees is your labor charges and design charges is you can see that it almost took me five to six minutes in last uh, video uh, maybe ten minutes to complete the design so okay you can give him 10,000 rupees not more than that otherwise uh, that's a big amount so one lakh 22,000 rupees will cost you uh, for this setup okay pump is not inclusive water source is not inclusive that depends upon you that what from which thing you are withdrawing water if you are using bore water then you have to put a bore there a four inch dia bore the simple one with an injector pump or a submersible pump which will cost you the 4 inch dia bore will cost you about uh, 20,000 rupees right and um, a submersible pump will cost you 15,000 rupees 
and its cables and uh, tie wire and wire and those type of things will cost you another 5000 rupees so this is about 40000 rupees an extra cost okay okay uh, here i use uh, this is uh, this is this was the bore 4 inch dia and this was the pump and this is the accessories accessories uh, so in that you will uh, you have um, uh, wire ties and column pipe so that all may cost you 5000 not more than that right i just re recently i have done uh, this this in my own uh, field so that cost me you know, this figure accessories and pipes and tie wire and those stuff that cost me 3400 rupees but uh, for safety i keep it 5000 pump pump you can get 14000 rupees pump easily 13 to 14000 rupees bore uh, 4 inch dia bore you can do it in 18000 rupees but i keep it 20000 rupees so that is another 40000 rupees on top of it if you are calculating the pump if you are going for a multi project there are hundred of acres then this will not work you have to go for a bigger size pump you have to go for 5 inch dia uh, bore with a proper casing pipe and everything and i have done a, a vlog on it uh, that how a bore will be calculated and pumping that is that is about 3 lakh 82,000 rupees these all things will sum up about 3 lakh 87 or 82,000 rupees so everything is done 122 is your cost and uh, our job is done so thank you for listening and watching and please like and subscribe our channel thank you Allah Hafiz